Welcome everybody to not the finale. Don't know what I was thinking, but like almost this whole entire time I thought 2A case 2A was the finale. I'm stupid and no, it's not the finale. But hey, as of right now, I finally I finally have caught up after like 3 4 months of watching Turnabout Storm. In Elements of Justice, I finally, I freaking caught up. Like, damn, gee. In case I get thirsty, I have, count them. One. Two. Three water bottles with me. Three freaking water bottles. We're not getting thirsty. That was some banging music. <laughs> February 15th, 1045 AM, Ponyville, District Court, Defendant, Lobby number 5. Hey, no, what the heck was that? It's called yeah. being Threatening smart. to step down a Sweetie Belle's lawyer? You must have scared her half to death. Uh, yeah, I probably did. It was the only I way. Sweetie Belle wasn't going to talk unless she was backed into a corner. It's true. She was awfully determined to keep things to herself. Again. The bit. Yeah, again. What's her angle here? I'm wondering if that was connected to how She's she was being behaving a batch earlier of today. Earlier today? You mean before the trial? Yeah, and how nonchalant she was. Since Athena managed to surprise her, <clears throat> I think she must have been counting on not being asked to testify. Yep. Even Stupid. So, don't you think it was going way too far making that threat? Nah. Truthfully, nah. Trucy, I didn't like doing it either. Oh, I enjoyed but it. Sweetie Belle left I'm us kidding. no choice. <laughs> Agreed. I didn't like making Sweetie Belle feel that way either. But she's definitely up to something. We can't save her if she isn't willing to speak. Especially if her not saying anything only implicates her even further. Yeah, I know. I guess it just threw me for a loop. Yeah. I know I said this before, but holy crap, I really, did, I really am watching like the, the this this episode. Like I'm, I have actually finally caught up. That just that just actually just hit me. That really just hit me like a brick. I actually just caught up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't care, but holy crap, that hit me, man. Yeah, me too. Rarity didn't take it very well either. I'm surprised she isn't here right now. I can't really say I blame her. Athena just put her own sister's life on the line. Rarity and Trucy weren't the only ones thrown for a loop, though. Prosecutor Luna was as well. Oh, and I am. For some reason, so were Miss Devotion and Miss Stamp. Could that be Eva? Sounds like you finally noticed it, <clears throat> boss. They're hitting the hoops. Trucy, did you find it odd how fair Devotion was acting? The way she handled Sugar Stamp and Private Eye? She's she like the to leader. explain away the contradictions in both their testimonies. And not only that, the two of them went along with it. They were just agreeing! Daddy! You're not saying... Oh, this is exactly I mean. why I didn't do as Luna suggested, and go after fair Devotion. Fair's been planning some kind of story, I think, from the very beginning. And those two, Sugar Stamp and Private She's Eye, a writer. She's a fanfic also writer. A part of it, probably as collaborators. What do you mean a story? Fair and Sugar are caught up in a love triangle over royal order, aren't they? That's certainly what the Don't evidence suggests. Don't we just suggests, love lo love triangles? I'm not so sure about that anymore, Trucy. Think about it. If the writing in the journal is fake, then who's to say the love letter isn't as well? Oh, that's a good Why point. Why do you think that? Because of what I've been <clears throat> hearing. Fair and Sugar certainly act like two scorned lovers, but the emotions in their voices don't <clears throat> match what they're saying. In fact, their outbursts are completely emotionless. They're good voice actors. If they don't have any real investment in what they're saying? Exactly. Ah. That led me to so it's like, you know, when you're a voice actor, you know, and you get sent a really, really bad, awful script 
that was written by a five-year-old and you have to act like and deliver the lines that you actually care and that the, the, this is actual human beings talking. I see, I see, I see. I to believe Sugar Stim's confession <clears throat> was most definitely a lie. One that someone supported by planting that letter opener. And your main suspect was Private Eye, seen as how he was the lead investigator. E yeah, I didn't want to believe it, but it made the most sense. He was also friends with Royal Order, so he may have a personal stake in this as well. Anyway, if Sugar's lying about killing him, she must also be lying about why she killed him. Coupled with She's a lack of emotions about regarding the subject, man. the affair is also likely to be a lie. One that Fair Devotion, Sugar Stamp, and Private Eye must <clears throat> all be aware of. That's why you insisted we go down this route, isn't it? Because they're it all hunch, stupid. But yeah, it looks like everyone's lying to us. Sweetie Belle included for some reason. Heckin' heck! Uh -huh. But they must be lying for more than just trying to land Sugar Stamp in prison. So what's their end game? Ha, Avengers. What indeed? Hello. Hey, everyone. hey, hey, how you doing? S Sedata. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh? Do you know who... Does she know about the anonymous tip? Does she know about the anonymous tip? You all seem lost in thought. Is now a bad time? Nah, it's never a bad Actually, time. Actually, we're in recess when you right show now. Up, Sonata. So you couldn't have picked a better time. How was your investigation? It was quite productive. I managed to acquire the information you asked for, Athena. Really? That's great! Let's see what you've got! First, I managed to test the blood that Apollo, Trucy, and I found on the trees the other day. Okay, you would As start with this. It belonged to Royal Order. Okay. More of his blood, huh? Should have seen that coming. But what was it doing More on the blood. trees, though? And how did it get there? I don't recall seeing any blood on the forest floor. I'm still not sure of that myself. The answer may come about during the rest of the trial. Agreed. What else have you got? Please tell me you know who they know. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to determine. God. Dang it, man. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait another couple months before I, I know who the anonymous tip was, aren't I? Uh, <sighs> oh, that's pain. To determine the exact source of the anonymous tip, oh, I was able to verify which magazine pain. was used to make it. And that would be the one you found in Diamond Tiara's bedroom, Mister Wright. It had letters cut out of it that matched the ones in the anonymous tip. I don't trust I even managed that to take a better quality photo of the magazine before removing it for examination. Hey, hey, hey. Well, hey. not all of us can afford a higher quality camera. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps you should learn to invest a bit more wisely then? Don't bother, Sonata. Daddy would just be confused anyway. What you, what you talking about? Hmm. What's all this stuff underneath February the magazine? 14th. I noticed that Aww. as well. After I <clears> took <throat> that picture, I did some digging and determined that's a couple of Hearts and Hooves Day envelopes. They were most likely thrown away after Ms. Tiara opened them. Hmm. She Did you lonely? In a literal sense? <laughs> <laughs> I see you've also taken up the habit of sifting through trash, huh, Sonata? Yeah. Really, Mr. Wright? <laughs> you and I both know this was part of an intense investigation. It's not sifting through trash, it's sifting through evidence. See, but the evidence is also trash, therefore you sifted through trash. But, but the fact that the magazine cutouts match the tip, does that mean Diamond Tiara is the I don't one who think actually so. sent it? I'm not so sure of that, Princess Twilight. Still, it would be worth verifying for ourselves. Which is why after I was done investigating, I asked her and Silverspoon to come and wait in the lobby. Ooh. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you, Sonata. What else were you able to uncover? You remember the remaining suit of armor? <clears throat> I managed to find it. Hey! You mean, the one that the clone Scootaloo crashed into would have been wearing? Precisely. I found it deep in the Everfree Forest. 
It had been chewed apart by timber wolves and was missing its helmet. In addition, Interesting. Okay. I noticed that the left side of the body plate had a particularly ugly dent in it. Any idea as to what made it? Kick. Based on how it was dented no, and the wait, shape of the no. impression left over, I'd say some kind of long wedged object. Object. A long wedged what? object. Object. Huh. <clears throat> you managed to uncover quite a bit, Sonata. It could it must be more. Have taken you some time. Actually, took only a couple thing, months. Princess Twilight. It really didn't. I managed to uncover everything just this morning, while the trial was happening. Well, maybe you're just really good at getting the job done. No, you had help, didn't you? You think so? Huh. Oh. Well, perhaps. But that does make me wonder. Wonder what? I was able to uncover all of this rather easily, without having to jump through a bunch of hoops Was this hurdles. planned? Was it planned? So how come the investigation team managed to miss the blood and the armor entirely? Oh. It was because of Private Eye. Yeah. What? Private Eye? Yeah, you know, the, the, the eye guy. Hmm. I see. The detective. But that doesn't seem like him to do that. Not even if he believed, truly, that Sugar Stamp was the killer. Have you worked with him before? Yes, on a number of occasions. But that's neither here nor there at the moment. The point is, I trust him. I can't imagine he'd do something like that without a good reason. But he's already admitted to forging evidence, so we know that he managed to manipulate the investigation to stay away from those other areas for some reason. If it isn't for what we uncovered, <clears throat> then... Because of lawkeeper equity. Pardon me for my intrusion. What are you doing but here? I must admit my own confusion. What are you doing here? What? Is it what? Oh, yes. That was another thing Athena asked me to do. Bring Zakora along. God, Athena, Wait, you're so thank you so for coming, freaking, Zakora. Uh, I just have a few last-minute questions that I need you to answer. <laughs> if aid from me is what you desire, then by all means, you may. <sighs> Sonata, could you show me I was stretching. The one with the boulder outside of the mirror pool? Here it is. Zakora, this photo shows the boulder that was placed outside of the mirror pool. There are a couple of flowers all over it. Can you tell me what they are? Of their Invasive species. I have no doubt. These are day bloomers with petals out. Day bloomers. They boomers. Right. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> do, 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 Sonata, boo, boo, do you have that other photo do, I requested? Do, do, woo, woo, yes. Woo, woo, woo. Here you are, Athena. Why'd you take a picture of that? Um, Athena? That's just a photo of inside Zakora's home. I'm pretty sure she recognized that. It's not the inside of the hut I'm interested in, actually. It's the healing potion inside that was stolen. But, uh... First, I want to reaffirm that the potion was stored in the floor shelf, right? It's not yes, there. That is where it was always stored, just above the hut's floorboard. And this potion, is it difficult to make? Even with my skill, it requires some time. The components are not simply found for a dime. There's also a considerable time to brew. If a full worth of a full month. <sighs> Do you just make these kinds of potions for yourself? Thanks to <clears> the rarity, <throat> the demand is quite high. This one, the local hospital will always buy. Oh, this so you're making money. To be worth the price when normal treatments won't suffice. Local hospital. That must mean Pony She's General making a hospital. quick buck. Well, not a quick buck. She's making some money off of that. That answers everything I had for now. Thanks again, Zakora. Could you actually stick around before the trial begins? I might want to ask a few more things. Of course. I'll gladly spare my time. If it were I feel like we're running out of time, time. though. I know you didn't time. ask this of me, Athena, but... I'd also gone to check up on the Carousel Boutique break-in. Ooh, ooh, Oh, ooh. good thinking. Did you find anything new? Well, you Unfortunately, know. no. 
The investigators are still looking for anything that might have been <sighs> taken, but so far they've found nothing. Rarity, as you can understand, is still quite upset. Yeah, I can imagine. I want answers! Give me answers! Although, if nothing's missing, could that mean that if anything was stolen at all, it was something no one would even notice in the first place? Miss Sykes? Uh oh! Uh, turning page! <laughs> what was that? Uh oh! To see you. What brings you to the courthouse? Oh, you know, just chilling, I, watching the thing. He was in the crowd. I just wanted to say good luck. We're all counting on you to free Miss Sweetie Belle. <laughs> I know, Turning. So long as Sweetie Belle cooperates with us, we'll be able to succeed. I also wanted to see Scootaloo again. Aww. To check how she's feeling. God, those two are, oh, those two are lovers. I'm doing okay, Turning. I have faith that Athena and Twilight are going to turn this trial around. <clears throat> Yeah, me, too. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's something up with him. him. It's, it's not, not just, just trout jitters. What, what could it be? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, He's turning. He's nervous around hmm? Scootaloo. Yes, Miss Sykes? <laughs> it's about your mother. Is she okay? Okay? Okay. I mean... She's been acting a bit strangely all throughout this trial. You wouldn't happen to know why that is, would you? Spit it out. Spit uh, it out. Spill the beans. Ask you to do Spill the broccoli. Hmm? Whatever happens in this trial, please help my mom. No matter the cost. No matter the cost. What oh, that's gonna the... come that's gonna come up later. Help his mom. No matter what the cost, no matter what, what could the that cost, mean? and why does it fill me with the most ominous sense of dread? Oh man, can't wait for like an hour and like thirty-two minutes and thirty-three seconds from now, where Diva, D someone's gonna have me with Diva, and then Athena's gonna have to do some really, really, really terrible thing in order to help Diva, and I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna cry, all emotions are gonna rise high, and I'm gonna throw a water bottle across my room, and then I'm gonna die in a horrible pit of death. May I have your attention, please? The trial is about to reconvene. Defense, please <clears throat> return to the courtroom shortly. Sure thing. Right. We'd better head inside, Athena. J just a second. I want to ask the core and Scootaloo one we more thing. We don't have the time. Uh, what is it, Athena? It just occurred to me. All throughout this trial, we've been hearing about these clanging noises. Cloud. But Scootaloo, <laughs> during your testimony yesterday, you never mentioned anything about them. Did you hear anything of that sort that night? I yeah, actually... I heard one when I was just passing by Zakara's house, and then one more just before I crashed into Royal Order. Okay, okay, so there was like a, some sort of object that hit, I'm probably assuming the clone Royal Order, or actually no, the real Royal Order. No, the clone Royal Order. Hit the clone royal order with a with a, with an object that created the clang, and he kind of like got pushed by the object into Scootaloo's way, causing you know a crash. I mean, I think that's what happened. I think, I think that's what happened. So you heard two, and Sakura, you still maintain you heard <laughs> just the one. I am quite sure of that amount. No other clangs I can recount. It's too many clangs, Pets, man. You need to head inside. Shut Just one up. One question, Scootaloo. That first clang you heard, did it differ in any way from the second one? I guess a little. Like the first one was much louder than the other one. They were both metallic sounding. Louder, first huh? one was then that louder. Would mean... Speaking of crashing into royal order, um, I'm not sure what it means, but. You said he was wearing armor? Oh, of course he was. Then, yeah. That's what Sweetie used to scare away the Timberwolves. But oh, wait, really? he wasn't wearing any armor when I crashed into him. He... He wasn't? God, there's so many questions. Uh, Athena, <laughs> we need to get going. Uh, right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you after the trial. The duck is on fire. 
Uh, February 15th, 1 p.m. Ponyville District Court. Courtroom number five. Welcome back. Welcome back. Court is back in session for the trial of Miss Sweetie Bell. I trust that the defendant is ready to testify. I'm not. Yes, your honor. Before we begin, I would like to ask if either the prosecution or defense have any final objections to the matter. Prosecutor Luna. You got anything say to say? Having Sweetie Bell testify must have thrown oh. her entire plan for a loop. Ah, get screwed, uh, Luna. Get smoked. Prosecutor Luna. Get scrolled. You appear somewhat get scrubbed. Hesitant. Hmm. Those eyes of yours have not dwindled with age, Your Honor. To be perfectly <laughs> frank, I am a bit hesitant. I cannot foresee where exactly this testimony will lead us. It'll lead us in the right direction. Yes, Miss. It will lead us to the truth. Do you remember what you told me last night? But still, I believe, if nothing else, trust that in the end, the truth will be found. The truth. Never what the lawkeeper has said. I know, but it's hard sometimes. I'm so like smart. Like stumbling around in the dark, hoping you'll find a light switch. <clears throat> Except you don't know if the room you're in even has one. I feel Trust like singing. Trust the faith, Athena. That's all it ever is. I do. Yeah. How do you guys feel about me just randomly singing sometimes? Yeah, I bet all of you probably left either left a video or, you know, turned down the volume considerably or decided to maybe go to therapy over my singing voice. Um no apologies will be made in the making of this video. As I state, no ears were hurt in the making of this video. Yes. You trusted me back then. Asked me to find the truth in any way I could. Please. <laughs> trust me now. You gotta trust. <laughs> I shall then, Miss Sykes. I'd ask you to trust me as well, Sweetie Belle. But I somehow doubt you will. Your Honor? The prosecution you gotta have is ready that to hear the witness's testimony. <clears throat> As is the defense. Very well. Let's do this, witness, man. You will testify mm. to the court as to yeah. your events on the night of the murder. Ah. Uh. Hearing this money. Sweetie, what you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? There isn't really a lot to say. That night? <laughs> Sweet, sweetie, 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 but sweetie. <laughs> the fact that she made such a fuss about testifying, said, you know, tried everything she could to not testify, did this whole humble jumble thing, and then opens up her, her testimony with. Oh, well, um, there really just isn't much to say, you know, uh, it's, it's really simple, you know, <laughs> really? I was at the Statue of Nightmare Moon. Not long after I'd arrived, I saw Timberwolves approaching the area. <laughs> One of them attacked me. I managed to scare it off, and afterwards, I hid behind the statue. I, I was there for a long time. I don't really remember for how long exactly. It's... All a bit of a blur. But why After were you a while, there? I left the statue saying that no one was around. I made myself a tourniquet and went to Zakora's hut to look for a healing potion. Okay. Wait a moment. You mean to say you were almost killed that night by wild timber wolves? Y yeah. Damn. There's still more to that, though. My word! I knew those animals were brutes, but I never imagined they'd go so far as to attack a rat- Dude, they don't have brains. Dude, they're just wild killing machines. Isn't that like... Oh, oh, I just got reminded of a Phineas and Ferb song. You know, highly unconventional vehicle? Wait, how does it go? Mmm. Mmm! Yeah. 
Yeah! A random filly? To think there could be a place so full of danger in this world, let alone one so close to somewhere as ideal as Hmm? What's up with Prosecutor Luna? I don't know, man. She's she's kind of crazy. He's indeed fortunate that the bell did not toll for the young one. The bell? Did was that planned? In any case, uh, <clears throat> I believe we may now begin the cross examination. What am I saying? Defense, are you ready? You bet, Your Honor. As always. So highly uncompet- <laughs> There isn't really a lot to say. That night, I was at the Statue of Nightmare Moon. Why were you in the Everfree Forest in the first place? And why the statue? Do I really have to say it? Yes, you do. <clears throat> you always have to Fine. say it. It was because I found Scootaloo's note in Carousel Boutique. Oh. Scootaloo's note? This one, Your Honor. It's Scootaloo's confession to Rarity for taking a roll of gold and silk in order to fulfill the blackmailer's demand. After I'd found that note, I considered following her and turning into the forest to stop them. And why was that? To get back the roll of gold and silk, obviously! The thing cost Rarity a small fortune! And Scootaloo stole it right from under my nose! Well, I yeah. didn't want Rarity to find out or she totally freak! And I didn't want Scootaloo to do anything dumb. Or anything more dumb than stealing from my system. But how did you end up at the statue? Well, it's called Once walking. Once I finally decided to go after them, I headed to the forest entrance. As soon as I got there, I heard a loud noise coming from within. I thought it might be her, so I cast an illumination spell and started heading towards it. <sighs> Could you describe this noise for us? No, it was it, it was, was a kind of a cloud. And metallic. You know, like a cloud. Like a cling. Yeah, like a like a like uh, a <laughs> cling. Hmm. That noise seems to be at the center of everything. Kind so of like Cora a turnabout and storm. Heard one, and Silverspoon heard two. And Scootaloo heard two as well. This must have been one of them. And if one was quieter than the other... Sweetie Belle, around what time did you hear that cling? Uh... Probably 10, around 10.15? 10, 10, oh, that's not yeah, good that for right. the, um, Sugar 10, Stamp's 15. confession. The same time that well, Sakura, I mean, it is, Diamond, but like, Tiara, and Silver it's not, each heard one. if you know what I'm saying. And when Sugar Stamp kicked Royal Order, if that confession wasn't a yeah, load this is of what baloney, I'm, that is. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking Let's about. Let's get back to the testimony. Witness, what happened next? Well, there really well, isn't much to say. I arrived, I saw Timberwolves approaching the area. So the Timberwolves were in the area when you arrived at the statue and started to approach? Yes, that's correct. Did Why you see did you anything the else statue? near the statue besides those Timberwolves? <laughs> um, yeah, actually. There was a big blood stain out in front of the statue, and also a set of armor. That armor, no oh, doubt, armor. must have belonged to the royal order whom Scootaloo crashed into, and who crawled to the statue afterwards. Except she claims that that royal order wasn't oh. wearing armor. So how did it get there? And the blood stain? Royal orders, of course. It was the from blood the test royal proved that. Sweetie Belle, was there a body present when you saw all of this? No, there wasn't a body. That means the Timberwolves <coughs> must have already eaten the body and were Damn. in the process of leaving when Sweetie Belle came along. Damn! No bones? Where was but the that bones? That contradicts what Sugar Stamp said. She saw Sweetie Belle trip royal order. The body had not yet been eaten by Timberwolves. Objection! However, as Fair Devotion suggested, it's possible Sugar Stamp was misremembering things that night. She might have been so traumatized that she only thought she saw Sweetie Belle trip him. That still leaves Miss Devotion's testimony to contradict Eva. this one. Defense, Eva. tell me you have a plan for resolving that issue. Uh, I do, of <clears> course. <throat> Just, uh, <laughs> don't expect it right now, okay? Leave your message after I the beep. I have a lot beep. of patience, Miss Sykes. 
You needn't worry. Aww. The only way to resolve it is to disprove both Sugar's and Fair's entire testimonies, which have been definitive since they back each other up. But, in order to do that, I'll first <coughs> have to break Sweetie Belle's testimony. <coughs> Witness, please continue. One of them attacked me! I managed to scare it off, and afterwards, You've been I attacked. hid behind the statue. Were you injured by this attack? Uh, <clears throat> a little bit. It scratched my right foreleg. A little enough bit? Enough for me to bleed a little. <clears throat> Which accounts for the fact that the witness's blood was found at the scene. <clears throat> Did you scare off the timber wolf exactly? Did I scare you guys? It was simple, really. I used the armor to do it. What do you mean? You just timber wolf cloud them like together. Sounds. My friend Apple Bloom once told me about how her granny scared off a whole pack using nothing but a frying pan. I remembered that story and decided to do something similar with the armor. I took two pieces and hit them together as hard as I could. That did the job and scared them away. Boom, 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 boom! A rather ingenious spur of the moment idea. Almost and around too what time did ingenious. you hit the armor pieces together? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Well, Are you guys so good at time? Let's backtrack and see if we can figure it out. You heard the first clanging noise at 10.15, didn't you? Yes, that's right. And afterwards, you started heading towards where you thought it was coming from, the statue. How long did it take you to arrive? Probably... about 10 minutes? Then we can reasonably assume that you arrived close to 10.25, if not on it. You then hit the armor pieces together, Maybe around the same time, eliciting a loud clanging sound. Does you guys that sound really about like right, clanging. Sweetie Belle? E yeah, it makes sense to me. So one loud clang at 10:15, and the quieter one Sweetie caused at the statue around 10:25. And afterwards, you chose to hide behind the statue. Why did you do that? Oh, it was pretty it's fun. I thought I heard someone coming, and I was afraid it was more animals, more timber wolves, maybe. Or a manticore, or Damn, something manticore? worse. So I hid, using my magic to hide the blood trail that I left while walking behind the statue. And what happened next? I, I, I was drank there too for much a long water, time. Man. I don't really remember for how long exactly. It's all a bit of a blur. A bit of a blur, you say? You don't remember how long you were back there? No. Not at all. She seems Get back on the thing, calm man. about this whole thing. Get back on the thing, You're sure? Man. You never saw whoever was coming your way? Nope. To be honest, I don't even fully remember what <clears throat> happened after. I think I must have passed out for a little while. Oh. Considering that you had just been attacked and were suffering some blood loss, that would indeed appear to be plausible. We can't expect you to remember how long you were out if you were truly unconscious, after all. So you were out for a time. You've been shot. And then you came too. When you did, did you happen to see if the armor and bloodstain were still in front of the statue? No, they were gone. You guys have they no idea what I'm doing right now. Gone? As in, they were just <laughs> missing? Yep, but I didn't really think about it. I just wanted to get out of there. I understand, defendant. Let's return to when you came to then. What did you do immediately afterwards? I just shot you guys with Legos like five times. After a while, I left the statue seeing that no one was around. I made myself a tourniquet and went to Zakora's hut to <clears> look <throat> for a healing potion. Objection! Sweetie Belle, you're saying you made yourself a tourniquet, then made your way to Zakora's hut. Is that correct? Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that's what happened. I don't think so. Uh, what? You made your tourniquet out of forest debris, and that, I'm afraid, would have been impossible for you. Why is that? Because, Your Honor, there's no blood leading from the back of the statue to the tree line. Oh! What the? You're right. <laughs> what the? For Sweetie Belle to have gotten any materials to make a tourniquet, she'd have to grab stuff from the tree line. But that would mean she'd be dripping blood all over the place. That's, so, that's smart. Belle, 
How do you explain that? I mean, a branch could have, like, fallen down from the tree, landing and directly at the precise, you know, location Sweetie Belle could have been sitting behind the statue, you know, in a sheer stroke of luck, you know, to make it look like this testimony would seem more believable. But, you know, that's just my opinion, and frankly, I'm just right, so I guess that's just fact. So, guess what, Athena? You're wrong, you're bad, get out of here, and stop being an attorney. And you two widget, you throw widget in the trash, and I'm about to just end this video right now and go watch some YouTube. Actually, I'm not gonna go end this video right now. I don't know why this little commotion thing has been going on for quite a bit. I, I, I don't know why I'm still speaking right now, and here we go. That's easy! I, I, I used my <laughs> to keep the blood from falling everywhere you use use the bl see would have been would have would, oh my god what would have what would have been a better explanation is that you used your magic to grab a branch that would have been so much more simple if you said that why would you why would you do that uh use my magic keep my blood from falling no no used your magic why what do you mean, why? I was bleeding! Exactly. You were you injured would have and sat bleeding. there sitting you and used your magic to get the branch. You just awoken moments beforehand. Not the best condition to be using magic in. You'd probably be too rattled to be able to concentrate on making <clears throat> sure every drop of your blood didn't end up on the forest floor. So again, why would you bother trying? I... I... Well... I just used my magic to grab stuff from the tree line to make a tourniquet. There you go. But that doesn't add up either, Sweetie Belle. You and I both know that your magic hasn't developed oh. that much yet. Yes, it has. Oh. I've been practicing outside of our lessons. You just haven't seen me. Well, <clears throat> I can't deny that, I suppose. Yes, you can. No matter how you look at it, I made that tourniquet. <clears throat> no. If that's the case, then you should be able to oh. recreate it for us right now. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's Defense. like a kindergarten teacher Surely move. You're that's, not asking the that is an elementary school teacher move right there. Defendant to go back into the Everfree Forest just to grab a bunch of material. Material and girl. Don't expect us to go in there in with the material her. world. <laughs> of course not, your There's honor. A hair on my phone. Besides, I already have some forest debris here. Got with now. the court's permission, I'd like to have Sweetie's magic nullifier removed so she can recreate for us the tourniquet she claims to have made on that night. How? Oh, she's not Agreed. gonna be able to do Bailiff, it! Remove the nullifier! You suck, sweetie, you suck! Go on, You're Sweeney nervous! Bell. Give it a try. I can feel Sweetie's pain right now. This this must suck. I I can't. Forgive me, witness. I believe I misheard you. Don't do that. Did you man. say you can't make a tourniquet? She did, Your Honor. Then how did she make one on the night she was attacked? Yes, yeah, she that's... didn't. Oh. Some pony else did. Royal order? Who? Oh. It might have been that some pony whom Sweetie Belle heard just before she passed out behind the statue. Or maybe... Royal order. Miss Sweetie Belle? I, I remember now. I didn't make a tourniquet. I just used a bunch of stuff I'd collected and pressed against my wound to stop it from bleeding. But then how did you be able to make the potion work, huh? You pressed unsanitized forest debris against an open wound and trusted it that it would keep it sealed long enough for you to reach Sakura's hut? Yeah, I, I mean, I knew that her hut was a little far, but I also knew that she had some healing potions I could use. Hmm. If you knew that, does that also mean you knew where exactly she stored them? Well, yeah, duh. Uh oh Then could you please show the court from which cover you took the healing potion? It's a 50 50 50 50 50 50 uh, oh you guys you guys don't know this about me but i suck at 50 50s but you say they say 50 50s are 50 50s but reality reality is they're just 90 10s and the 10 percent chance is that you'll get it right here 
this one? Wrong! I'm sorry, Sweetie Belle. That is Stop incorrect. It. It's incorrect? But, but how? What because do you mean, incorrect? You were there when Zakora told you where the healing potion was. <laughs> that night, Sweetie Belle was neither the one to make the tourniquet, nor the one to get the healing potion from Zakora. Some pony else did both. But who? There was no one else at the statue. Royal mm. order. I suspect Miss Sykes has been building up to this moment for quite some time. Well then, why don't you regale us? Who aided Miss Sweetie Belle in both of these endeavors? The court wants an answer, so I'd better make this count. Let me think. The judge says no one else was at the statue besides Sweetie Belle. That much might be true. But there were other ponies in the forest that night. I just scooter loot, Dime Chara, Silver Spoon, Royal Order, Sugar Stand, Turning Page. One of them. But it can't just be any of them. It'd have to be some pony who knows how to make a tourniquet and identify which potions were healing ones. It Royal can't order. Be Zikora, since she had no idea that the potion had been used until after yesterday's trial. Which leaves us with a pony who has a fair bit of medical knowledge behind them. And who was in the forest that night. That can only mean... Defense! Have you any idea as to who this mysterious helper was? I do, Your Honor. In fact, oh. they're in the lobby right now, ready to testify. And who are they? Silver Spoon! Oh! Oh! What? What? Oh! What? Why am I... Oh! Not there was... The difference in... The um, number of clangs, or not clangs, clouds that were heard with, between Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara. Only was she in the forest that night, but she's mentioned before that she has some light medical knowledge. It's not inconceivable that she might know how to make a rudimentary tourniquet. No, wait! <laughs> you can't call her to the stand! What do you mean, can't call her? Of course. Miss Sweetie Belle. <laughs> the <laughs> defense has that right. And besides, I am curious as to what Miss Silverspoon would have to say. I'm pretty I curious would also like to hear too, from her. yeah. Bailiff, please bring in Miss Silverspoon to testify before the court. Brother, you gotta roll the dice. Diamond Tara, what well are you then, doing here? Miss Seems the batches of milk are back. Wait a moment. Is that Miss Diamond Tiara? Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Only Miss Silverspoon that. was summoned. Hm. If you think I was gonna let Sylvie face the courtroom alone, you are out of your old geezer mind. Miss Diamond Tiara was quite Well, I wouldn't say batch of milk. I would say friend, just batch of milk and... Her loyalty is yeah. fairly 